gunned down as well while using his body to shield little Abigail. She then ran to a neighbor for help where they were all taken hostage. The, that entire house of neighbors were taken hostage by Hamas and held for 50 days. What she endured is unthinkable. Abigail was among 13 hostages released today from Gaza under the brokered and sustained, though intensive, U.S. diplomacy. She's now safely in Israel, and we continue to press and expect for additional Americans will be released as well. And we will not stop working until every hostage is returned to their loved ones. As I said when I spoke about this deal on Friday, this has been the product of a lot of hard work and weeks of personal engagement for me and my team. We have been in close contact with the leaders of Qatar, Egypt, and Israel, speaking with each one of them repeatedly over the past few weeks to help secure this deal. We spoke again yesterday with the Emir of Qatar, uh, I owe special thanks to, in order to keep the hostage release on track and push for Abigail to be part of this release. And I'll be speaking again shortly with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And we will continue to remain personally engaged, personally engaged to see that this deal is fully implemented and work to extend the deal as well. For weeks, I've been advocating the pause in the fighting for two purposes, to increase the assistance getting into the Gaza civilians who need help and to facilitate release of hostages. And we know that innocent children in Gaza are suffering greatly as well because this war that Hamas has unleashed is so, has such consequences. Thousands have been killed, and from the earliest days of this crisis, I've worked closely with President Sisi of Egypt, the Israeli government, King Abdullah of Jordan, and leaders throughout the region to expand the delivery of critical humanitarian assistance to help innocent Palestinians in need who are not part of Hamas. Under this deal, <laughs> fighting in Gaza has now been paused for three days. Over that time, 58 hostages have been released, including the Thai, a Filipino, and Russian nationals. Dozens of families have been reunited.